Hi everyone. I'm going to empty out these three buckets of King Edwards. I cut the tops off on the 30th of August, so they've had quite a bit of time, but unfortunately today, I can't really make it out, but something's dug down and there was a, a half-eaten potato and one on top of this bucket with scratch marks in it, so I'm going to get to them before anything else does. So we'll get set up and we'll bring you back. It's the, is it today? Tuesday the 27th of September. We've got the three King Edwards you've just seen. Planted them, ironically, on the 27th of April of this year. 30 litre pots, three of them. Three seed potatoes, because I went for one seed potato for every 10 litre of compost. Fertiliser, I had some chicken manure and blood fish and bone when I planted them. I've had nothing since, really. Um, wanted to get these pulled quite a bit earlier but the weather and various other things didn't really allow well we've come up today to uh, as you've just seen to harvest them and uh, anyway something's trying to get at them before we are we don't know if it's a fox or a long tail or you know an R80 anyway I'm gonna tip this one first because I don't know if you can make it out in the video the actual bucket is misshapen um, there and so I'm really uh, yeah we will get a ten pound bucket we've had about the Maris Pipers we had an eight and a half pound I think so see what we've got with this one I've been quite looking forward to these I didn't grow these last year and as before you see the roots you've got the holes in the bottom and we burrowed the soil around them so they get the extra nutrients from the soil so Let's see what we have. I won't fast forward all of it because we've just got three this time. I'll show you the full reveal. Can we get them out? Oh, sure, it's absolutely. Right. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Well, it's absolute. Lovely. There's loads of them, but they're not. All that big, but that's okay because there's plenty. Now, after we've done these ones, we've still got good old sap homera growing, light resistant. So, whereas the these they were a, little, a week behind the uh, Maris Pipers in terms of getting affected by the blight, but um, unfortunately, we cut the tops off. I lost, I mean there's even real tiny little ones here, that's, but it's coming to that time where they, uh, they all need harvesting. And they've got those little white bumps on them, lack of moisture I think. Um, I forget the name of it, it begins with V. It just, we didn't really get the wet weather when when we needed it most. We try to keep them as watered as we can, but there's only so much you can do. So, really pretty ones. Nice look at that. A bit, a bit mushy actually. Maybe left them a little bit too long after cutting the tops off. Oh. Oh. Can't fill it with soil. That's no good. No, that's no good. Just want to say uh, to anyone who exhibited at Harrogate, I managed to have a little look along. If you exhibited any of the giant veg there, I'm absolutely in awe of every one of you. I saw like 300 and odd pound pumpkins and beetroot that were about 15 pounders. I don't know, absolutely just. Madness. So, oh, it's a bit, a bit soggy and mushy. What a shame. I want to discard a few of these guys, unfortunately. And I've just left them that little bit too, uh, too long. Right, get them weighed. Have a bit of a look there. What we're thinking, do we have anywhere near? I want 
and get the soil. I won't bulk up the weight with that. We cheat. Quite small, really, for all the uh, amount of time they had. I mean, I don't mind. I mean, I'll use them as like just a whole roast potato, but for chips and things to be like little bite sized chips. But so far, quite pleased. I was expecting some quite a bit bigger. The pot being all misshapen was a little bit misleading, but we'll see. Bear in mind we had to discard a few soggy ones, so what do we have? Edward, what will you bring us today? There we go. Ten pounds, so the bag won't weigh nothing, so no stones or anything in it. We have just over seven and a quarter pounds, or seven, bet between seven and, seven pound and seven and a quarter. Or well, we'll say seven. So, not bad for the first pot. I'll clear all this up now, and we'll move on. Right, pot number two. Let's see what this brings. It feels a lot heavier, this one. That's what we're looking for. Nice. See the last ones were they're just a much better size for uh, chipping, roasting, all that jazz. And just loads of people did say with these that they don't often bother because they just tend to get blight real bad with them. And, but and Morris Pipers, although I've got some cracking weights, they got blight a lot earlier than these did. In fact, I think that's where the blight on these came from. I think it kind of, because we're side by side, and just obviously spreads like a like a rash, I suppose. Um, and because uh, a week after I noticed on the Morris Pipers, I cut all the tops off those to stop it getting into the soil. Try and salvage the spuds and then the telltale signs came on these the following week so we cut the tops off these and that was that but I haven't got it as early as some people have other people have said to get it as early as like July, July. But there's not as many of uh, not a load of mushy ones in this seed potato there or one of them not as many of the mushy ones in this pot and they don't seem to have those little white nodules on them or if they do not as many of them do so and again a heck of a, to say it's so late on a heck of a lot of really small ones right I think we're about there with them I reckon we should have beaten seven pound with these. So, but, and I don't know, that's one yeah. Oh, that'll make up the weight. That's, that's the crucial one, that one. Right. Same again. maybe nine pounds. In terms of quantity I think it's about the same but there's just the size of the, the ones just seem a little bit bigger. A lot bigger actually. And, uh, but I mean obviously I did have to discard some of the ones in the first pot too because of the mushy and so there we go let's see what we've got for this one. Right, so we're at seven pounds for first one. I'm confident we're beating it with this. Let's see. Just under 
so what, eight and a half pound. Eight and a half pound. That's a good result. As again, I'll clear all this away and we'll tip out the third and final one. Right, the third and final bucket. This is one of the ones where we think something, I'd rather know, not know what it was, but something has eaten, well you can see where my hand is, taken a big chunk of soil out and uncovered two quite sizeable spuds, which in a fit of anger I threw somewhere. Um, so we'll see, you never know, this one could have the biggest and best in them. I just hope nothing else is crawling in within them. Uh, well, let's see. We've got eight and a half pound to beat. Is this the mother load? Is it? You never know. I won't put them in the bucket, I'll just. I'll actually know I will. Eesh. Again, some big ones, but. I think maybe something's got to these. Or the biggest of the ones. I don't know if it's a fox or a. No, I don't know. Goodness knows. But some things had the Kenyadis before we did. Well, there's still some nice ones, but. No, I think the eight and a half is the biggest. Maybe we might do five pounds, six pounds, I don't know. Some good sizes though, some nice quality spuds. Luckily they didn't get them all. And considering the blight and you can't complain. But some good uh, some good potatoes, keep us going for a while. Just finished off the last of the Morris Pipers. Absolutely delicious. If you don't grow Morris Pipers, don't just resort to buying them in a supermarket. Grow some, honestly. The results we got were brilliant. If you watch the, the potato reveal prior to this one. And you'll see. I mean, we had uh, again just mushy and sorry, not the Maris Pipers. A couple of the, these are. I don't know if it's blight or no, I don't know. Maybe they're just soggy. So yeah, give um, give some Maris Pipers a go. The, I don't know if this made a difference, but when I chitted them, I let the chits. Well, not intentionally actually. They got absolutely massive. Not leggy. They didn't get leggy. They just got quite big and there was plenty of them and uh, they seem to grow significantly ahead of the other plants and the yields were good too so uh, I don't know what we've got there it's certainly nothing like these the other two but we'll see I mean that even that one there Looks like it's got lines down it. So whether something's been clawing at this, I don't know. Maybe a fox. I think that's a bit too big to be anything in there. With it. anything that eats cheese and gets caught in a trap. Night gather. I don't like saying the R A T word. I'm a bit, a bit superstitious. Again, another one there. A bit soggy. pound for this one maybe so with the eight and the seven what's that fifteen and a half pound what will this bring it up to <laughs> I was way off just over three and a half pound so what did I say there? 15 and a half. So 19 pound between the uh, three buckets. So take the one, carry the three. That's what I just said. Um, can't work out the average. Uh, so yeah, that's how King Edward's done. Now we've just got the former uh, Sappho mirror, which is still growing. So I'll probably give them another couple of weeks and then Believe it or not, one of them has potatoes like exposed on the top, so what lies beneath is anyone's guess. So we shall see. But thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. Please subscribe. Bye for now.